Good morning and night, guys. My name is Miss Sunshine. Welcome back to more of the hangman. Okay, so last time we left off, couldn't figure out how to open up the box. Guess what? You have to keep staring at this poster here, and there was a number on the back of it. Because Sophie said something about you being a perv, there's a number on the back of it. And then we got the little black notebook. Let's actually see what's inside of it. Maybe this is the notebook Ed wanted. In that case, I shouldn't take a look inside. I'll hand it over to him. All right, so we're going to go ahead and the notebook back to Ed, I'm guessing. Because he's the one who wanted it. No, wait, crap. I think I have to go this way. I can't remember. Do I hear Pop? Pop, are you here, boy? Pop! There you Thank are. goodness, I finally caught you. Don't go anywhere anymore, Pop. I'm hopeless without you. What are you doing? Sophie, uh, thanks for all your help. Now I finally caught up to Pop. Uh, huh? Pop, say hi. This is Sophie. Ah! Why are you carrying that rat? D don't tell me your friend was... This is Pop. He's my friend. I've been looking all over for him. Yeah, it sounds kind of... Yeah. No! Keep it away from me! That's disgusting! Sophie, don't run away and leave me by myself, Pop, please. wait! No, okay, Pop, please. Again. Y you, you're friends with that rat? You've got to be joking. Those things are so gross. Not to mention... Uh... <laughs> um... Look, I didn't mean... I just thought it was a human friend, you know? Just so, throwing a flashlight, like, no you didn't! Uh, your friend's pretty cute, huh? I don't really care for rats myself, but... Sophie, let's not, okay? Go. Oh, no. Just go! Get out of here! Why bother showing concern for a kid who's friends with a gross rat, right? Sophie, but please don't leave. You need to go, too. That's what I was going to do, but I'm sure as hell not going with you anymore. Okay. Sorry, Will. <laughs> Murdoch. Who's Murdoch? Ooh. Story time? Story time. Will, why did you throw a ball at Mitch? It wasn't me! Captain Murdoch did it! Oh, here we go again. And tell me, where exactly is he right now? He was with me earlier, but he ran when you came, teacher. Will, what do I always say? No one likes a liar. As punishment, you'll have no recess. Understood? That's unfair. I didn't even do it. I deserve recess, darn it. Teacher got mad at me because of you. <laughs> okay. Not my fault, Will. I was doing it for you. What do you mean doing it for me? Why you Sorry, there's nothing in my me. eye. I wanted to be Mitch's friend. But Mitch treats you like a duck. He's always smirking around you. Am I wrong? Maybe you're right. But I... He might be evil, I don't know, but I do like his voice. He's kind of like gruffy. Will. Ain't no reason to be friendly with people who don't understand you. Not Mitch, not the others, not teacher. Good friends gotta have understanding. Nobody out of this bunch knows a thing about you. They won't even try to know. Everybody calls you weird. But you know that's not true. They're the weird ones. They're dummies who don't know the things you know. You'd be better off on your own than trying to befriend the likes of them. Don't you think? Ain't nothing to worry about, because you've got us. We're the only ones who can understand you. Ain't that right? Are you guys my friends? Whoa, whoa, whoa. what do you mean, you guys? Aren't you just talking about Of course we are. Nothing lonely about it, eh, Will? You've got lots of friends. Don't trust them, young Will. Don't. And he did. Too late. Let's 
try to go find her, I guess. It's weird, but creepy music kicked in. Be back here. He was on. Which floor was he on? This one, I think. No, not that one. I think down one, maybe. Oh, there's a note. A newspaper dated a long time ago. Was this always here? No, that was not. Early last night, December 5th, at Deepwoods Hospital, patient Alec Johnson was found dead by a staff member. A knife was stuck deep in Alex's chest, and the police are investigating it as a suicide. Since the patient Alec couldn't have possessed the knife, they believe Nina Johnson, his mother, a sole guardian, gave it to him with the help of staff during visitation. Oh, wow. But I'm pretty... That's what the knife is for. Oh... I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Oh yeah, yeah, we've already seen that. Huh. So wait, was it down one more floor? No, darn it, where was he? Oh no, no, wait, was it up one more floor after this? I think I might have bypassed it. Yep, it's through this one, I think. Oh, it's not. Oh, no, yeah, there's a hole near the bottom of the wall, go through the hole, yes. Ed is here. On the lantern, there's a way to go over there, isn't it? To go through the hole, but Ed isn't here. And the door, should I place black notebook there? Okay, so I actually hand it to him. Okay, so... I think I'm gonna go back and try to look for Pop again. Like, double check that kitchen area. Because I didn't get the chance to. Or wait, the library, which... Is that even open now? Wow, still locked. Okay. That is fine. He was in here, right? He was in here. So... Huh? It's open now. Oh! Nice! Okay, so maybe I should have- Hey! Hey! What are you doing here? I thought you were way over in the other building. Right? <laughs> Surprised? I know all sorts of secret routes here because I used to explore all the time. Hmm. Okay. Is this the one, Ed? You found it? <sighs> Thank you. Is that notebook yours? N no, it belongs to someone I knew. He showed me it a long time ago. I'm glad it was still around. A long time ago? How long ago? F Fifteen years back. I lived here for about a year. Um, I heard that after it shut down as a mental hospital, this was a homeless shelter. That's right. Aw, Ed. My father drank a little too much, so he couldn't do good work and was really poor. And m Mom was dead, so... Then a priest at the church told us there was a place where p poor people could stay for free and invited us here. M Mr. George, who gave me this notebook, lived here. He gave me a photo, too, but... I'll probably never get that back. Well, the this photo. is a big place. Seems like it'd be hard to live in. Yeah. S sort of. It was really cold in winter. But, well, we all came together and helped each other. So it was really great. You don't look too happy, Will. Did something happen? I lost my friend. Again. I... I got separated from Pop again. Yeah. Also, there was a girl helping me look for Pop, but I said some mean things and drove her off. 
You'd better apologize later, then. Even if I did apologize, I'm sure she wouldn't forgive an asshole like me. Language, you sir! You shouldn't say bad words like that. Thanks. Not to yourself, or to other people. It's okay. I'm sure she'll forgive you. You're a good kid. You're a good kid, Will. Uh, I'll be going now. I'm still looking for something. What are you looking for, Ed? Um, if it's okay with you, would you come with me? I'm feeling kind of discouraged being alone. Sorry, Will. I'm in sort of a hurry. What's uh, there's hurry? something I need to do. This notebook you gave me has the method. I can finally make some progress. Progress in what? If you find your t talking rat, I want to see. I really like rats. Okay. I got it. Hmm. So, on my own again? Ed, do you know about the happy murders? You lived here 15 years ago, right? Y yeah, I was there. Lots of police came. It was a big thing, and then we couldn't live here anymore. That must have been scary. Five people suddenly being murdered. It, it, it was just natural. Uh, after all, we were really unhappy. Hmm. Bye now, Will. Starting to put two and two together. Okay, I guess I'll check the shelves in here. Checking out the shelves. Out the shelves. Shelves, shelves, what's this? The boards with screws. I have a screwdriver. Yeah. Come on. We did it! I'm gonna save real quick because I don't know what's in store. But we did it! Okay. I don't know if I like this. Okay. We have to go down, don't we? No, no, no. Go back up. Crap. No, we have to go down. Can you go that way? Okay. Fine. Good. Please don't let the elevator like instantly come up or anything, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, what is that? What is that? Doors shut firmly. Oh, please. <laughs> please don't do what I think you're going to do. Get inside. Okay, wait. Let's see what I have. I have a knife. Please don't do what I think you're going to do. I'm so serious. Okay, where am I now? What? Wow. Where is this control room? Is that on any of my maps? Not on that one. Uh, area three? No. Area two. Let's go back to area one. No, this is new territory. Walk from the inside. Oh. Before we go in there, explore down here. Because there was another room this way. Water storage tray. Well, this is open. What's that? A bucket of water. What is that? Again! Not again, we're just keep showing up. I've had enough of this. I'm gonna go nuts already. Same. Or maybe it's too late for that. I've been nuts long before today. Well, Sophie and Keith both think I'm a weirdo. Whatever I say, they won't believe me. And that's the way it's always been. There hasn't been a single person who's believed me about mime or Mur Murdoch or Pop. 
Well, no, there's been two. Ed and... Just making me think about weird stuff. I better find properly quick. Okay. There's a... There are drain pipes coming out of the tank. There's a valve attached. Right on. Can't drain it or anything, but right on. Alright. Oh! Oh, dear ah! God. Why are you always just instantly there? I mean, thank you, but you're just always but instantly there. Pool of swimming. Thanks, Keith. Is it okay to be starting a fire in here? Forget about is it okay. I'm guessing you haven't found your rat, huh? So you wouldn't listen if I told you to go home and dry off. No. No, I wouldn't. So, okay. you're not gonna say go home, huh? And you changed offices again. Get off my back. Really, Keith? Really? You're I, happy I'm here. You might not be Admit able it. to leave with Pop anymore. And why is that? When he sees me, he runs away. He won't talk to me at all now. Maybe he doesn't like being with me. Mm. Yeah, that must be it. Since I'm such a hopeless idiot. He's disgusted. If I just did what Pop said, this wouldn't have happened. Or this that can't probably be how we say goodbye. Pop. Not when I still need to pop around. I kept a rodent when I was a kid, too. A hamster named Frosty. One day, I Aww. figured he was bored in this cage, so I let him out in the garden. Thought he could use a walk. The second I took my eyes away, he was gone. I found him in the mouth of the neighbor's cat. Yeah. When I saw his tail sticking out, I screamed. I started hitting the cat to try and have it spit him out. Then the old lady next door came and hit me with her cane. Then my parents scolded me and spanked me, too. In the end, Rossi never came back. I cried my eyes out, and I thought to myself, this can't be how we say goodbye. Oh, well. I mean, I will, Keith. If that little Keith were here today, I know he would never tell you, go home. You've still got a chance of finding him, too. I do. I so do. So instead of blubbering, search until you're satisfied. I'll keep quiet to your school and the police. Okay. Thank you. I'll get going. Uh, um, hey, thanks. Hold on a sec. Have you seen my ring anywhere? Weird. I had it on earlier. What, your wedding ring? Isn't it right there on your finger? No, it goes on top of this one. It's a gold ring. Maybe I dropped it in that tank. Might have been washed away somewhere. If you don't know, that's fine. Get going. Hmm. Okay, before I get going, I actually want to check everything. Wait, 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 check that one. Alright, check that one. Something is stuck to the back of the door. Torn a label. Alright. This is, this is why it's good to check stuff. Oh, is that rope? I'm gonna need that. Apparently not, never mind. Pull the chairs. Nothing on the shelves, nothing on the shelves, nothing on the shelves. Nothing in the trash bin, nice warm fire, don't burn yourself. Excellent. He said something about the water tank, maybe he dropped it. Maybe I can try to drain the pipes now? Or apparently not, never mind. It's okay. Okay, okay. I'm outside? Whoa. The drain. I wonder if it connects with the water tank. If I run the water here, I might find the ring. But, but if I don't catch the ring as it passes through, who knows where else it'll go. It'd be good if I could stop it with something. Well, let's see what we have to stop it with. The G1. Alright. I can stop it with a pencil case. 
that's not good enough. I can stop it with a wooden box. Oops. I can stop it with a card. No, I can't. I can stop it with a knife. I can't stop it with anything. Okay, uh, maybe I have to check the elevator on this side, too. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. I'm gonna save it, darn it. I'm gonna save it again. Because I don't know what's gonna happen. Will, go that way. I would hate for the thing to, like, fall on me. Because I'm pretty sure that's what might happen. What is this? Four tiles. Obtain the key. Right on. Please do not fall. I am begging you. Don't fall. Right on. Okay. Save it again. Alright. I think. I say I'll go ahead and end it here. So we got a key. We talked to Keith. Awesome stuff went down. Gave Ed his notebook back. He's in a hurry. I want to know why he's in a hurry though. What is he doing here? What is his purpose here? Don't know. We'll probably figure it out somewhere towards the end. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this. And until next time we meet, stay sunny side up, guys. Bye!